Welcome to an overview of Biomem's applications presented by the Southwest Center for Microsystems Education. This video gives a brief introduction to just some of the thousands of Biomem's which are currently on or being tested for market. MEMS, or microelectromechanical systems, use micro-sized components as sensors, transducers, and actuators. MEMS are currently found in cars, gaming devices, smartphones, and environmental testers. Many of these same MEMS are used in the medical field. For example, the MEMS inertial sensors found in smartphones are also found in pacemakers. MEMS used in the medical field are called BioMEMS. BioMEMS currently on the market include this therapeutic system for diabetics, which not only monitors glucose levels with an internal sensor, shown here at location C, but provides a precise amount of insulin when needed via a cannula and microsized needle inserted below the skin. Another BioMEMS that has been on the market for quite a while is the cochlear implant. The cochlear implant uses an electrode array implanted inside the ear to stimulate the eardrum when it receives audio vibrations from an external transmitter. The possibilities for biomems in the future are endless. Tissue engineering is a huge field that is working toward the development of artificial organs and organ tissue to help alleviate some of the problems surrounding organ failure and organ donations. This image shows artificial kidney tissue developed by the Charles Stark Draper Laboratory. The development of drug delivery systems is another huge market. Several type of in vivo drug delivery systems are currently being tested, but we're still working on perfecting components with high selectivity and specificity. Such components include micro-sized liposome vesicles to carry drugs throughout the bloodstream to a specific cancerous tissue, where it attaches, releases its drug, and destroys the cancerous tissue. So what exactly are biomems? In general, biomems are MEMS that are used in the medical field. For example, pacemakers and defibrillators use some of the same MEM sensors that are found in cars, smartphones, and cameras. These devices perform a medical or biological function, therefore they are biomems. Other types of biomems use biological components to perform a medical function or application. For example, this image illustrates micro-sized cantilevers that use biomolecules to identify and grab hold of other specific biomolecules. The green particles on the surface of the cantilever are antibodies that identify a specific virus, shown as red balls. Such devices are biomems that have biological components. Applications for biomems devices exist in diagnostics and therapeutics, detection and analysis, drug delivery, and cell culture. In addition, new emerging markets have made biomems the largest and most diverse applications of MEMS devices. Biomems are currently found in laboratories, in the field, in doctor's offices, and surgical rooms. However, they are also found in and on patients. Biomem sensor placement on a patient depends on the device and its application. A sensor can be topical, meaning applied to the skin or placed in the mouth. It can be externally connected, meaning in vitro, or it can be in vitro with an internal or in vivo component. It can also be fully implanted, making it totally in vivo. Let's look at some examples. One familiar topical sensor is the thermometer used for measuring body temperature. Thick film disposable thermistors and infrared thermometers have largely replaced the mercury thermometer. Here you can see an infrared ear thermometer. It is very non-invasive and perfect for delicate situations because it goes virtually unnoticed by the patient. The diabetic therapeutic system that you saw earlier and this retinal prosthesis are examples of an externally connected biomems. The retinal prosthesis contains a micro-sized electrode array implanted on the retinal tissue in the back of the eye. The patient wears glasses that contain a video camera, a receiver, and transmitter that process and send optical signals to the array, stimulating the individual electrodes, which in turn stimulate the cells below the retina. This stimulation travels up the optic nerve to the brain, which interprets the signal and provides a rough visual. This biomems has given some blind people a somewhat useful representation of what they are looking at. 
Fully implantable devices, or in vivo biomems, have numerous possibilities, but few of these devices have made it to market, mainly due to biocompatibility issues. Implantable biomems that have been on the market for years are defibrillators and pacemakers. Another in vivo biomems currently on the market is this pill camera used for endoscopy and colonoscopies. This pill, about the size of a large vitamin tablet, contains its own light source, battery, camera, lens, and transmitter. The patient swallows the pill in the morning and goes about his daily routine. During the day, the pill travels through the entire gastrointestinal tract, recording color images at a rate of 2 frames per second. The images are transmitted from the pill to a receiver that the patient wears on his belt. At the end of the day, the patient returns the receiver to the clinic, where the images are then downloaded and analyzed. The pill is expelled without the patient even being aware of it. Other emerging implantable devices include neural implants and probes, spinal cord stimulators to treat intractable pain, and pressure sensors for monitoring cardiovascular pressures, eye pressures, and intracranial pressures. Now let's take a look at the other category of biomems that uses biological molecules as a component. In biology, you learned that some biomolecules have the ability to detect and bind with other biomolecules, like an antibody detecting and binding to a specific virus. This characteristic of biomolecules has enabled the development of biosensors. An example of a biosensor is the home pregnancy test that employs certain antibodies with an attached reporter group to detect a specific protein produced during pregnancy, and that becomes present in the urine. Another example is the glucometer, a diagnostic biosensor that monitors blood glucose levels of diabetics from a single drop of blood. The pregnancy test and the glucometer are types of microfluidic biomems which are referred to as a lab on a chip, or LOC. LOCs test for one or more biomolecules within a small sample of bodily fluid. Still in the development and testing phases are LOCs that can accurately test for many analytes or different biomolecules from one small sample. This image shown here is such a device. You can see the numerous fluidic channels throughout which the sample flows. In each channel, the sample is testing for a different analyte. This LOC is currently being used by astronauts to test for infection, allergies, anemia, and deficiencies in the immune system. This handheld LOC analyzes a tiny blood sample in about two minutes. Another microfluidic MEMS is this cell culture array. This array uses micro-sized chambers and channels to create optimal environments for cell cultivation. This array creates microenvironments for growing cells in parallel, allowing for the analysis of multiple cell growth conditions. The environment and cell growth are controlled by several other microcomponents within the system. The Internet of Things, or IoT, connects devices such as Biomems monitoring systems to the Internet, enabling the gathering and management of information from those devices. This information, in turn, offers the opportunity for more efficient and effective health benefits. Examples of IoT devices are this electrocardiogram biosensor and the pacemaker. The ECG patch contains electrodes and circuitry that monitor, measure, and collect data regarding the patient's heart and activity. This data is transmitted wirelessly to the patient's smartphone or computer. Today's pacemakers are designed to send collected data wirelessly to a transmitter receiver device that sits next to the patient's bed and is hooked up to the phone line. Every night while the patient sleeps, the data is collected. This collected data is sent periodically to the doctor's computer without the patient's knowledge of any transmission. In this video, we have shown you just a few of the thousands of biomems on the market. The MEMS market for medical application is currently approximately $2.1 billion and is projected to grow at double-digit rates for the next decade. With a current market of $2.1 billion, I think it's safe to say that BioMEMS devices are already impacting every aspect of our lives. Ultimately, these systems promise to significantly improve medical care on a global scale. If you want to learn more about Biomems, please check out our Biomems educational materials on the SCME website. Thanks for watching.